Hi guys, today's video is a series that I'm going to do until the end of the year. 2015 is almost over and I wanted to show you some of my favorite things that I bought in this year. Now, I could not put everything that I bought in one video because it would have been super long and I didn't want to bore you guys. So I thought what I would do is just break it down into small videos and then just put it as a series. That was great, right? <laughs> well, anyway, the first video that I wanted to start off with is favorite foundations of 2015. Okay, before we get started with that, I have no idea why I bought so many foundations. And this, these are just five that I like. I bought way more than these five, but these are five that I thought that I couldn't live without and I thought they were very good to me and I really liked their look and the coverage so I wanted to share that with you. My number five foundation is this Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Absolutely love this foundation. It is a very beautiful foundation. I'm actually wearing it in this video today. Um, it did not work very well for me this summer because I had gotten, um, you know, a little darker. So I, it didn't come off right. It, it actually looked a little funny. So now that we're in fall, going towards winter, it really is looking very pretty. I, I really like it. What I wanted this foundation for after seeing some reviews is the matte finish, but it did not give me that matte finish that it claimed that it was going to give me. It, I actually come out a bit dewy. So what I had to do was put a good primer on to soak up some oils and then after a few hours, then I had to blot. But it's not as matte as it's claiming. That's the only issue and that's why it's at number five for me. My number four foundation that I bought this year was a treasure, okay? It is this Jordana Complete Cover. Um, it's maximum coverage and it's a two-in-one concealer and foundation. Guys, if you didn't get your hands on this foundation plus concealer, you were sleeping. This is your concealer and foundation all in one. Now, honey, that's the business, okay? Because a lot of times what takes us girls so long with blending out foundations or blend or doing our face in general is that we're doing putting on a foundation and then we're gonna go back and conceal. So this is supposed to cut out that second step. You can apply your foundation and concealer all in one and get out the door a lot faster. My number three foundation is something that I think a lot of people slept on. It is the Black Opal Foundation Sticks. Honey, these things are, <laughs> baby, these foundation sticks are life. They are some of my favorite. I actually picked these up, and as you can see, I have four. I actually picked these up before I pick up a lot of my other foundations. They are so good to work with. They have a very good consistency. Let me just show you. I compare these foundation sticks to Bobbi Brown's foundation sticks, except they are a whole lot cheaper. They are $8.99 a tube. This is an amazing, amazing um, foundation. And they are, they're easy to travel with. Sometimes I'll take these instead of taking this liquid because they are solids, but they are life. So if you have not tried these black opal foundation sticks, you are missing out and you need to try it. 8 dollars a piece, you cannot beat that. By number two, it was really a struggle for this being number two because it is so good. But, um, you know, somebody had to come in second. I love this Urban Decay Naked Skin. 
yes, this right here is everything. It is a weightless ultra definition liquid makeup. Ooh, don't that sound fancy? <laughs> but it is absolutely amazing. It is a little bit pricey. I believe it is $30. Um, I think it was like $30, $35, not 100% sure, but it was worth every penny. Okay, now the holy grail of all foundations for me this 2015 season or this 2015 year was none other than, drum roll, <laughs> the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Yeah. <laughs> this was everything. I loved it, loved it, loved it. More than most, I pick this foundation. I bought it in Trinidad, which is dark one, and it never disappoints me. Now, I'm not gonna get into this, was it one pump, two pumps, three pumps, to get my complete look. I just used enough so that my face was on fleek. Okay, that solves that problem. <laughs> I'm not getting ready to get into all that. Charlie took me two pumps. No, it took me three pumps. No, you know what? It was 18 pumps. Child, just use enough so you can get your face covered. That's all I say. <laughs> but anyway, I absolutely love, love this foundation. It's so sheer. It's so light, but it gives you a really good full coverage. Um, this was the first time I had ever used NARS foundation, and I was not disappointed. So guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I am going to do more of these year in review products that I have bought and what is good. They may not always be my favorite things of 2015. They could be my worst. I don't know yet. As I am gathering things and doing the videos, I will share that with you. But until the next video, guys, I appreciate all of your support. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Hi, honey. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I always answer back to any comments you leave. If you're just leaving, um, you know, that you like the product, that you like the video, I always respond back with something. Thank you, have a wonderful day, something. Because I believe in good communication and I'm a talker, okay? I, she loves to talk, okay? <laughs> Until my next video, guys, you be well. Bye.